Heavy rain expected over the next 48 hours. Crews already out making sure the city's streams and creeks are clear of debris that could cause flooding. NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey took the Chevy Storm Tracker out today to check out the conditions. Rad, you talk with the Storm Water Services Department, and they're actually something that uh, we can all do to prevent the flooding. Yeah, all you have to do is walk out into your street or the parking lot of your building and look down. And if you have a storm drain like this, go out now and clean it out. You and your neighbors will thank you later. We could expect, you know, three or four inches uh, of beneficial rain we're looking at over a period of time versus what they had in Houston was an inundation. In other words, three to four inches of rain over two days and nights should not pose much of a problem here, where we've never had what Houston is now trying to cope with. So what would it look like in Charlotte if 50 inches of rain fell here? Well, the Washington Post has an interactive tool that allows you to enter an address to find out. It predicts that this is what would happen in Uptown, with more than three feet of water around the Spectrum Center and the Transit Center. The difference between Charlotte and Houston is topography. If we had that level of rain here in Mecklenburg County, we would be seeing flash flooding, not not necessarily the depth of water that you see in Houston. The closest the Carolinas have come recently to Houston was two years ago in Columbia, South Carolina. We saw what happened in Columbia two years ago where they had nearly two feet of water in a 24-hour period. It was devastating. So thankfully, we have nothing like that here right now. If we do get three to four inches, it'll be over two days and nights. And again, if you can clear the drains in front of your house, go do it. Reporting live in Charlotte, Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte. Important information. Thanks, Rad.